it is monday afternoon and man it's already turned off 77 degrees outside out here in southwest oklahoma on october the 31st um, we're still trying to plant wheat um, we've got quite a bit of rain in the last few weeks which is really nice but it's kind of kept us out of the field and and so we're trying to keep these air drills going and get them ready to go again maybe it'll dry up enough this week that that we can get these cedars back in the field um, so I've got a call from a customer here that's got a 1910 tow behind air cart and it's on a 1890 seating tool and his complaint is is that when he is going down the road and or going through the field with the openers out of the ground um, if it bounces a little bit at all it turns the it turns the main drive clutch on and off and so I've seen this problem before we actually came out and looked at this drill uh, a couple weeks ago and he had the same complaint so we went in and calibrated the height sensors and we switched from front to back sensors and calibrated height sensors and he's still having some issues so we're going to take a look at that real quick and one of his requests is is that we go ahead and replace these two sensors uh, on front and back uh, seating ranks so we're going to go ahead and replace the height sensor on both front and rear uh, opener ranks okay and i'm going to show you what that looks like and then we're going to look at a couple of things that i've seen problems with in the past on these seating tools too so stay tuned and we'll show you what that looks like so here is the front height sensor on the front of this tool and then there's also one on the back gang or back rank and basically both of these sensors are the same um, you can actually use this on a 15 inch spacing so you can run off of the back rank or the front rank of this seating tool uh, but keep in mind when we're talking about these sensors so so one of the things is is that even though you're not using uh, say you're not using the front sensor but you're using the back sensor and that's the one that's giving you problems it, I like to change these as a set because even though you're not using the front one and or the rear one at any given time um, it still moves so the sensor still goes up and down and I think it's just a better idea to go ahead and replace them both at the same time so we're going to go ahead and replace these sensors and then take a look at this wiring and take a look at this height sensor issue we've got our new height sensor installed on the front and the rear uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this wiring real quick um, and look at our connections between the cart and the tool and make sure that we don't see any problems with that we're in the middle of the tool and the cart here okay and i've kind of went through and inspected the wiring the two wire connectors okay so this height sensor right now is plugged into the front the reason i know that is because it's got an orange zip tie here and it has an orange zip tie on the front height sensor okay so here is our rear height sensor so this would be running on the rear rank so we've got an option to use either one to activate our main drive clutch on the cart okay and so we're looking at wiring here um, everything seems to be in good shape going all the way back across the tongue of the cart and then back to the cart here looks good um, going back on the cart and tracing it back to the main drive clutch everything looks pretty well intact um, the only thing that I don't like and if you guys are fighting this trouble on a main drive clutch on a cedar um, one of the things to look at and i'll show you real quick since this one's unplugged these pins get really 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 bad shape uh, what i mean by that is they get a lot of corrosion and a dirt a lot of dirt built up in there um, especially if it's been unplugged and i'll unplug this one here show you real quick so those pins look pretty bad too and uh I think it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and replace um, go ahead and replace those pins or those terminals in these connectors so we're going to go ahead and do that and then we'll run through a quick calibration and calibrate this 
hot sensor. I think what's going on here too is we're making a little bit of a bad connection around this connector. And so I want to explain a little bit about how this works. So uh, basically I'm going to unplug this with the key on and the tool out of the ground. Okay, I just heard my main drive clutch click on. Okay, and I'm going to check my voltage here real quick at this plug coming from the controller on the cart, okay? So we're reading five volts there. Pretty close to five volts if you can see that on my meter there. Okay, so it's a, it's a five volt circuit basically. And so once we break that five volts with our height sensor, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug my height sensor in, okay. All right, I heard my main drive clutch kick off and these wires are pretty bare here, which makes it a little bit easy to check voltage. So I'm gonna look at that voltage. Okay, now our voltage is running. Let's see if I can get a good. Okay, so now our voltage is about two and a half volts. Okay, so we broke that five volts basically to tell the controller on the cart to turn the main drive clutch off. Okay. And so if it sees five volts, it's gonna turn the main drive clutch on, okay? So basically, this circuit controls what the height sensor is telling the controller on the cart to do. Either send 12 volts over to the main drive clutch or to take 12 volts away, okay? Basically turn it off. So I'm gonna show you real quick on the cart here. Okay, so here is our here is our cart controller right here under the front of the air cart okay so the height sensor is sending a signal to a five volt signal to the controller to tell it to either turn the clutch on or turn the main drive clutch off okay and so if it's if we see five volts coming to the controller that basically turns the main drive clutch on okay and so with the height sensor, when it's calibrated right, and we're below that five volts, okay, two and a half volts, then we're gonna tell it to send 12 volts over to the main drive clutch, okay? Our main drive clutch is on the left rear wheel of the cart here. So here is our main drive clutch on and off, okay? And here is our connector for our main drive clutch right there. Okay, so the controller will send 12 volts to the clutch um, and, and it's being commanded by the height sensor on the tool, okay? Okay, so this is our main drive clutch, or main drive. Uh, we have meter clutches on both front and rear meters also, uh, but this is our main drive clutch. So this will turn seating on and turn seating off depending on what the height sensor is telling the controller to do okay so just a little short terminology there of how the circuit works and so i think a lot of times what happens with these is they make a bad connection here and if you can kind of see in that connector is really really got some really corroded uh, and dirty uh terminals okay and so rather than trying to do anything with that we're just going to go ahead and replace those, okay, so that he's got a good connection there. And I think that'll alleviate his problem. We'll also run a calibration after we change these uh, terminal pins up. We've got our new connector terminals installed here. Um, on the, we're gonna run this on the front uh, height sensor for now, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and run up in the cab and start the tractor up and run a calibration on that front height sensor. So we're in the tractor now, we've got the tractor running and I'm raising and lowering the seating tool. And uh, you can see the sensor coming on and off. Okay, we really want that to start seating, um, you know, when the openers hit the ground, and which that's doing a pretty good job there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in and do a cow real quick, so. We're going to go to setup and we're going to go to air cart and we're going to page and we're going to go to sensors calibrate. And this is a Gen 1 seat star, by the way, so looks a little different on the screen as opposed to a seat star 2. 
So we're gonna select our height sensor. Um, we're gonna raise our seating tool all the way up. Hit accept. Okay, then we're gonna hit our number two and put our openers all the way in the ground. Okay, and then we're gonna hit um, accept. Okay, so it says value accepted, value accepted. Okay, so we are going to raise our seater up to about where we want it to come on at. Okay, about right there, and we're gonna hit select. Okay, and that changed that to a 68. So I'll go ahead and hit run. And now it's coming on just about the time that the openers hit the ground, okay? You can kind of hear it coming on and off there. And uh, that's doing a really good job there. So I think that's where we'll leave it. And I uh, think that'll work real good for the customer. And just remember, if you're fighting these problems, fighting these problems with this... Um, height sensor turning your clutch on and off um, either going down the road and or driving through the field with the openers up um, it's not always a height sensor but these height sensors do get wore out uh, because they do work up and down constantly as you're raising the seating tool up and down so just a really good idea to go ahead and change both sensors i think a lot of our trouble today was the connection those connector pins that we replaced um, they were corroded and pretty dirty, so that's another good idea if you're fighting that problem is to go ahead and replace those those uh, pins and terminals in those connectors for that height sensing. And then, of course, go ahead and run a calibration. And most times that will fix your problem. Um, anyway, it's, uh, it's wheat sowing time out here in southwest Oklahoma, and I think we've got this guy's problem fixed. So we're going to return this uh, cedar back to the field and hopefully we can get in the field and start planting wheat here in a couple of days. We've got a lot of rain out here. We're pretty excited about being able to get back in the field. And um, hey, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I uh, hope it helps you out along the way. And uh, hey, Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here. Other videos here. Subscribe here. And buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think you're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you some bloopers. Y'all already, already burned me out. Some bloopers. He's sitting in the sun over here, man.